Watch you guys got another video Microsoft account bypass now being blocked during setup. If you have a Windows 11 system, 23H2 will be released soon to you. But if you want to use a local account, then you can't during the setup process using the old method like no at thank you.com and then putting in some random password and it will say oops and it used to let you log in to a local account instead of a microsoft account microsoft don't want you using these bypass methods anymore and are blocking it in the 23h2 and the 24h2 releases which are coming soon to you so if you are looking to install windows and you don't know how to do this then this video will help you because i will show you a workaround that still does work but a lot of the other bypass methods which we'll look at in a second in this video have also been blocked by Microsoft which is quite frustrating for a lot of people because some people don't want a Microsoft account and just want to use a local account but I'll show you how to do all of that near the end of this video but first off let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor CD Key Sales if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a Windows 11 Pro OEM key then check out the links in the video description. Create yourself an account on CD Key Sales website and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and you will get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, use PayPal and they will send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows just like that. It's very simple. Anyway, Another version which Microsoft have blocked is the Shift F10. When you press Shift F10 at this window, it will open up the command prompt box. From here, this was another common method that people use to bypass, which is OOBE backslash bypass NRO, all one word. You would then restart the PC, and what would happen is it would allow you to use a local account uh, or limited account. But unfortunately, Microsoft have also blocked this method as well in the up and coming releases. I'm not sure why they have done it, but they are now forcing you to try to use a Microsoft account. But as you can see here, I'll just go through the process here just to show you what it's actually doing. It just takes you straight back to the Microsoft login screen where you need to log into an account to actually set up Windows. So this is number two that they are trying to force you to do. Now, even if you do that command in lowercase, it still does the same thing. And I'm not gonna bore you showing you it twice, but it does basically force you to this window where it will take you straight back to the Microsoft login screen. So let's go through the setup here and it says unlock your Microsoft experience. It wants you to sign in just like before. So that method doesn't work either. Now, don't worry, I will show you the workaround that you can use. But I just want to show you what they have blocked so you know that this won't work anymore. So any videos you see from today forward will not work. So let's go ahead and show you again. I'm going to open up the command prompt by pushing shift F10 again to open up the command prompt window and then type task mgr.exe. And this will open up task manager in this window. And from here, you used to be able to uh, close off the uh, network connection uh, flow which would then allow you to create a limited account but unfortunately they have removed this method and this method also now don't work in uh, the up and coming releases which is 23h2 and 24h2 builds so this method has now been stopped so you can't use this one i've gone through this and i've even searched for it it doesn't come up so unfortunately this is another one that they've killed off so with Microsoft constantly viewing what people are doing online, it's also given them ideas to block things to stop you using those methods. So even if you type in here network connection, you'll see it doesn't come up, which is very unfortunate. So I thought to myself, maybe they're just stopping you from viewing it from this location, and but it's still running in the background. But when I did network, it doesn't show up. So what I tried to do is run a command inside the command prompt window using the task kill to kill off that actual task to see whether it allows us to use a microsoft limited account so i'm going to quickly go ahead and open up the command prompt window again by typing shift and f10 
and type out the command, which is the task kill command, to kill the uh, OOBE network connection flow.exe file. But unfortunately, you can see the process can't be found and it won't allow you to do it via this method either. So that has been uh, stopped by Microsoft as well. Now, another method that used to work was type in admin and admin in the actual uh, signing box. So you type here admin for the actual email and then you would type in admin for the password and then click sign in and it would then say, oops, something went wrong like it is doing right here. Click next and it used to let you sign in with a limited account. But unfortunately, you can see it takes you straight back to let's add your Microsoft account and it won't let you do anything. So how can we do it? So let's go back and I'll show you the method that still works. So click the back arrow button and instead of clicking on set up personal use, set up for work and school, click on next. And from here, we can now go to the next window, which is this right here. Click sign in options. From the sign in options, you want to click on domain join instead. And now you'll see who's going to use this device. We're going to put my name in there. So let's go ahead and type in here, Brightech. And you can put whatever name you want in for your account. Click on next. And from here, you can choose to put in your password if you wish. And we'll just let that build. Now we need to go through the process. And you can see it's starting to let us go through without having a Microsoft account. And this is the uh, way that is still working in these later builds. And the build I'm using here is 23H2. So this is not the 24H2 version, which will also be released later on this year. So if you're trying to set up Windows and you're getting stuck at that screen where you have to use a Microsoft account, use this method. And what will happen is it will allow you to get to the desktop uh, without having a Microsoft account. Because the moment you put that in, it's going to know who you are and you certainly don't want to be doing that on a machine that you don't want to be adding your details into. So this will give you the option to use a limited account. And I'll show you when we get to the desktop exactly it does work and it's still working today. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how long this method will last before Microsoft will block this. But I'll try and keep you posted and uh, keep these videos updated so you know what methods work and what don't work. So if you're seeing any videos now that are still using these old methods, these will still work up until the point when you upgrade to 23H2. And if you have to reinstall Windows with 23H2 or 24H2, it's not going to work from that day forward. You will have to use this new method. And as you can see here, if we go into system and we are using 23H2 here, and that's the version we're using. We are now on a local account. And that was for the date of 25th of the 4th, 2024. Now, if you have any other methods that do work, then put them down in the comments section below. I'll be happy to read those messages and also give them a try to see if they work. And I can add those into another video. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.